So now let's see how we can work around with screenshot to code plugin inside of ChatGPT. So in order to work around with screenshot to code, I'm going to go around onto the explore GPT section right here. And over here, I'm going to go around and search for screenshot right here, just like this. So let's just go around and type in screen shot right here just like this so once i go around and do that you can see that screenshot to code gpt is an option around over here once i go around and click on start then what happens is that it opens up screenshot to code gpt right here just like this so now what you can do is you can go around over here onto the attachment section right here and upload from computer and over here on my desktop. So let's just go around over here on my desktop right here. I got this particular uh, screenshot right here. Let me just go around and open it out and you can see that this is a screenshot of a Google search page right here just like this. So let's just go around and open it and I'm going to go around and say make a uh web uh web base code as per the screenshot right here just like this so let's just go around and say this and if i were to go around and press enter then what happens is that it turns it out and writes code based on that particular screenshot as you can see right here so you can see that this is what you have and then uh it just writes down the code right here so now I'm going to let the code uh, finish right here. So you can see that you can see that uh, there's the code. Uh, it adds in divisions and it adds in, uh, let's say, uh, search areas, as you can see um, here as well and so forth. So it's basically taking this particular screenshot, analyzing it, and then it is simply um, making it into a code right here, just like this. So now you can go around and copy out this code. And now what you can do is you can go around and paste this out right here, just like this. Paste this code and go to file right here and go to save as. And then on my desktop, I'm going to go around and type in, let's say, for example, sample uh, code.html right here by selecting all files. So I'm going to save it in HTML format. So once I go around and do that, I can go around and keep this out right here. And I can see that based on the screenshot right here, you can see that it actually created a code right here. So nothing is uh, clickable right here, but you can see that it analyzed it out as clickable items and then added in, let's say, for example, dummy links. So you can see that I got different options right here. Right here, you can go around and select this out. You can even go around and type in the search right here, as you can see, and there's some icons around over here as well. And it detected this out as text, as you can see right here, just like this. And this is how you can go around and then utilize screenshot to code GPT. And you can see that if I were to go around and inspect, it's all codes right here. And you can see that the different sections are divided right here, just like this. So that is how you can utilize screenshot to code um, um, uh, code GPT inside of chat GPT. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.